There's no denying 2020 has been a tough year, and the way we do things going forward is going to change. We'll still get together and tell stories, but the way we're going to do that is going to be different. No one knows what that's going to look like, but there are plenty of young storytellers eager to find out. Welcome to BearCast. I'm Randy Lankford, and this is BearCast, a weekly interview with business, political, educational, and nonprofit leaders. We're examining the relationships between all four and how each one benefits from the success of the other three. Just like millions of students around the world, Michael Carrion's school year didn't go quite as he expected it to. He couldn't have gone into his senior year at Jefferson High School expecting to spend one third of it at home nor could he have expected to win the Grande Communications Superstar Scholarship at BearFest 2020. Now, he's using that springboard to pursue his dream of being a filmmaker. Michael, welcome. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you making some time. Thank you. Thank you. It's been, it's been good. <laughs> Let's just do a little quick recap of uh, your BearFest experience. This year, you were the winner of the Grande Communications BearFest Superstar Scholarship. That's pretty nice. Uh, and your team from Jefferson High School, they kind of hit a home run. They won Best Editing, Best Storytelling, and Best Picture, three awards for the work you did for the uh, Children's Shelter. That's that's not a bad night. What's been happening with you since then? Well, since then, I've been kind of preparing myself for the future. I mean, I'll be attending Northwest Visa in the fall for filmmaking. And I just recently actually submitted a two-minute short to a competition called SA Short. Okay, great. What was that about? What was that story about? Um, the film will go over like how people can adapt to the current situation going on right now. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little uh, unusual. Nobody's been here before, so we're all kind of feeling our way along. Yeah, but we're getting through it. Yeah, yeah, we will. So let's go back to your experience at Jefferson. Um, they they have a great uh, media production department, a great film program, and they've been winning awards at BearFest. This this was the fourth year of BearFest, and Jefferson has won something every year. So they they kind of set a high bar. Uh, did you feel any uh, any expectations, any pressure that I got to live up to that? Well, yeah, I guess I could say there was a there was a certain amount of pressure applied to not just me but everyone else involved in the group right but i felt like i had a lot of faith in our group and that if we did the best we could we can produce a successful film so what was your role on the on the production team what what part did you play for and this was for the children's shelter specifically um for the children's shelter i we included a short in the beginning i kind of wrote the short into the beginning of the film right. um, I edited a majority of it and I helped with the filming process nice so you were you were all over it yeah one of the elements of winning the the scholarship this year is you create a a, a video about yourself and about your career plans and your expectations and what you want to do what is it about filmmaking that uh, that attracts you I guess it's like the overall aspect of it. I mean, people can like, um, how do you say, um, express themselves through films at a lot of times. And it's just really creative and it's fun to do. And although it can be stressful sometimes, I really <laughs> enjoy it. Right. So, uh, and how did you first hear about BearFest? Um, well, Back in my sophomore year, my older brother attended it, the second year of BearFest. Oh, okay. And now their group, they won, a, I think, Best Picture and Music Score, I believe. And so a year following that, my teacher, Mr. Callahan, he approached me with the opportunity to work on a film for the festival. And although nervous at first, I accepted the offer. So given, given that trepidation, that little gut check, what made you want to go ahead and be a part of it? What, what tipped you over the edge? Well, the fact that I can do something that I love 
like filmmaking, but at the same time, like give back to a nonprofit organization from my community, it really tugged me in. Okay, good. Well, that's, that's a good reason to participate. When, when Mr. Callahan came to you and explained, well, you'd, you'd, you'd already had a brother in the festival though, right? Before. Yes. Okay, so you'd kind of been there as a spectator. What were your expectations going from spectator to participant? When you saw all the categories, all the teams, all the nonprofits, the, the scope of the whole thing, what were your expectations? Well, although there's so many like teams and categories, the fact that we were all there for the purpose of making films and supporting a nonprofit, like really soothed the, like the worried expectations I had about okay. the festival. But um, I saw it as like, this is a big festival and this will be a good start for things. Okay. Um, one of the things that, it, that I always enjoy is the night of the premiere when all the students come in and, and kind of get blown away. And we do that very deliberately. That's no accident. Um, that it's kind of over the top. It's at the Tobin. We have a red carpet and check-in tables and backdrops for photos and entertainers in the lobby. What were your expectations of the premiere and, and what was the reality like? Well, if we're going back to the first time of the premiere, like I was expecting something quite similar. Like um, I was told that it was going to be a professional film festival. So I was expecting that. And um, I walked into it. I'm like, oh, wow. Yeah, this is, this is pretty amazing. This is legit. Yeah, I was just looking forward to the event. It's, it runs really smooth and it has like amazing music performers and stuff like that. I was ecstatic to go again. Yeah, we've kind of uh, upped our music game in the last couple of years, and that seems to be a, a, a real hit. People enjoy that, so we're going to continue doing that. Yeah, it's great. I, I, I've had teachers tell me that their students go into the festival pretty casual, that they find out they're going to be working with a nonprofit organization and they're going to make a video, and and the response, the initial response is, oh, okay, this will be fun. We get to do something different, go off campus and play with the cameras and do all that. But then when they meet their nonprofit organization and see the work being done and the, and the, the seriousness of the, the mission, they, they take it a lot more seriously. And was, was that your experience when you found out you were going to be working with a nonprofit and they had real expectations? Did it kind of up your game? Well, yeah, I can definitely say it up my game because like the way we saw it, we were walking into the biggest film festival we'd attend in our high school year. So the group who we were helping and knew we had to walk, like we knew we had, we were going to help people with this film and we knew that we had to give it our all. Like we knew it wasn't something to just, you know, mess around with the camera. Right. Uh, that, that's interesting. Uh, the, the, the element of working with a nonprofit organization and understanding you've got to tell their story. This isn't my story. This is their story. Does it matter to you and that that story lives on? Does that make a difference that instead of just going on a shelf somewhere, this nonprofit organization, the Children's Shelter, is using that video that you made to raise money and recruit volunteers and serve their mission? Does, does that have any impact that kind of uh, make you squirm a little? Um, just a bit. But um, the fact that we're just, you know, helping them out and stuff like that, like we're doing it for free, that's it's more than enough for me. That's, it's great to hear and such. Good. Good. The, the video that you um, produced at Bearfest is different than just your normal class, uh, class assignment. Did that make any difference in the way you approached it? That uh, this is going to live on long after I'm gone. So I need to take it to a new level. Yeah. Um, walking into this festival, I knew we had to be like, I knew we had to do real things like this wasn't a piece of fiction. It was real life. So I knew we had to approach the filmmaking process like as professionally as possible. And, and being immersed in a nonprofit like that, you were there for weeks. This is, this is not an overnight thing. It takes some time to put this together. Did that give you any new perspective on what nonprofits do and why they're important? Did, did that change your understanding of how nonprofits operate? Um, 
yeah they like they help me see what they do and what their jobs are and how other people of the community can help them and how they help people of our community right and it really it really gave me a like a big positive perspective on nonprofit organizations of our community good good this is the first time a lot of students and i don't know if this is your experience but i'll let you tell me it's the first time a lot of students deal with adults as adults in instead of student teacher or or parent child this is vendor client this is peer to peer you're you're operating with adults on their own level what did you take away from that did that uh, did that impact you in any way yeah actually it gave me like um like a feeling that we weren't like just you know just some kids messing around with the camera right. it really gave me like um a big feeling of like you're adulting now and you're adulting now i like that yeah as a filmmaker this is the things you got to do but not just that but being able to like interact with the people of the nonprofit the people of bearfest and everything it's like it gave us a good feeling of we're stepping up into life of a filmmaking right so what's your what's your biggest takeaway from from the experience you got to do it for 2 years was it the the team element that that dealing with adults that that you learn a lot of lessons aside from just filmmaking there's you know resource management there's communications budgeting time resources i mean did, what was your biggest takeaway well if i'm be honest like everything really helped us get stronger helped me personally get stronger so from like the team element the dealing with adults and the resource management it all i took something away from everything okay. and um uh, everything helped me out on a different level like the um the team element it helped me work with people so much better the the fact that we had we dealt with adults and stuff like that it helped me feel like like we're more in a professional zone so i'd like to say that everything that i got from bearfest will be used in the future you 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 certainly get taken seriously the, yeah. the adults the adults on the other side of the table suddenly realize these kids are not fooling around they're they're for real they're for serious and we need to to give them their their due i get that from almost every nonprofit says the the kids exceeded our expectations they they came in prepared they came in uh committed uh, they came in ready to do whatever it takes to to reach their goal, and I know the the adults on the other side of the table are are more than excited, more than thrilled to have your uh, your help. There 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 had to be a lot of surprises over your two years, over three years almost since you got to go to the first one as a spectator. What was the biggest surprise of all? Well. I wouldn't be lying if I said I or I would be lying if I said I were expecting to receive all the awards that we got that okay. night. Okay, that's a good answer. And the fact that the festival was just filled to the brim with creativity and talent. I mean, I was honored to be around such like talent of the other filmmakers and I was just amazed by everything we got out of the event from knowledge to the awards and everything. Did that surprise you that there are so many schools and and students participating in the festival cuz it, it when it would be easy to think I'm the only guy that's interested in this I'm the only one who's who's this filmmaking geek and then you you go to the premiere and you see 40 schools and 400 kids it, that's got to be a, is that a surprise that wow there I'm not the only one Yeah it it was surprising the fact that so many people around our community our district wants you know are either wants to be or interested in like a path of filmmaking and want to help this nonprofit organization they're assigned you know it's it's yeah it was really surprising so so now that you're an old veteran of of the festival what advice would you give students going into it for the first time i would tell students you know be confident for what you create work hard to create um the things you want to be confident for and um they always say you know have fun but just don't have too much fun you know <laughs> um you should always give it your all and um work with your team 
your team can really help you out of some sticky situations and stuff. Right. So yeah, pick a good team and give it your all. And remember that it's to help a nonprofit organization. Yeah, one of the, the, speaking of the awards, one of the things that I'm always uh, cognizant of and remind the students of is the awards are nice, that's fun, it's kind of validating, but enjoy the moment. Enjoy that moment that you're either running cable or editing sound or, or color correcting. Enjoy the moment. Take a, take a moment to realize what you're doing and who you're doing it for and why you're doing it and just appreciate that moment. I, I agree. You're, you're right on track there. Thank you. Well, Michael, thanks for joining me. Thanks for making some time. Um, good luck in school this fall. And we, we're expecting your great things from you as you uh, move into the next phase of your career. San Antonio needs your help, so we'll be counting on you. Thank you so much. For My pleasure. Have a good day. You too. Have a great well, one.